Hi, I'm Calvin, and I'm from Texas, and I'm 10 years old. Some of the interesting things that I learned about all the bats was they've developed what they need to survive in each habitat. The Mexican free tails have those big ears, and they're really dark so that they can hide in caves and stuff like that. The red bat, um, they, they're designed to look like leaves in trees and they kind of hold on one foot and they sway like dead leaves. So. so how bats drink, they glide on top of the water, not like just a few inches above, and they lick it like a dog. They just keep licking until they get enough water. Or if the bats hide in trees, when it rains, the bats can drink little droplets off of leaves and branches. Houses are taking up the habitats of bats. They're chopping down trees and, and um, building houses, and so the bats have no choice but to roost up in shingles of houses and all that. But they really aren't a problem or a threat mm -hmm. to humans. Kids should tell parents um, um, to protect some bat habitat places. Caves are one, um, trees, under trees and shingles in the house, bats can hide in there and if you can protect those places I think that we would have uh, more of a chance to have more bats.